Face à l'étendue de ma peine, je me baignerai nu dans la scène. Mes morts au vif, je reste négatif, puisque tout fou, le camp. To reality, yeah, yeah, me too. <laughs> <laughs> it's quite bizarre. What a nice yeah. place. Yeah, that's cool. So, let's walk. Where shall we go? <laughs> I don't know. You don't know? No. You know, I don't speak French. And so it's like a little bit uh, being in Tokyo or yeah, yeah. on Mars. <laughs> so everybody. <laughs> But you, your friend went to, to, to Paris. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been here before, quite a lot actually. Ah, uh, in the 70s, 80s. Yeah, the, there was this Tomo Parnas uh, happening. Yes. <laughs> you heard about it, yeah. <laughs> Have you heard about that? <laughs> yeah, yeah, many times. Yeah. Really? Yeah. I think they were shocked. Yeah. yeah. Journalists. What it's, it's big, brilliant. big media event. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's a good idea. It's brilliant. Yeah. See, if, I, if I remember you. You send the robots and then you just uh, say hello and went out, that's it. Mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> yeah. I think it's not possible to do that. Uh, Nowadays, uh, no, yeah, yeah. the French uh, Bundestag. It's Bundestag? Yeah. Reminds me a bit on, on, the, on the video I I've, I've saw your first song about kite. Yeah. yeah I was yeah. really surprised. Suddenly when, when the camera went went up and you see it's a central park. Yeah, really but in fact it wasn't. Cool. Central. No, it wasn't. No, I was too afraid to take the plane. Psst, don't tell. Don't tell. No, I know, you're I know. on reality television. Yeah, that's why I <laughs> tell the truth. <laughs> Les cerfs volants qui planent quelques amants qui flânent un petit vent les parasols plantés dans le sol. Uh, are you making videos on your, your album? I have to. I, I did a, a computer animation video. Uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's cool. great. That's great. It suits uh, the record because it's all about cameras. I know, I have the records. Yeah? Yeah, yeah? They gave it to you. Yeah, yeah. And how these cameras are changing our perception. Next time I'm gonna play it, it's gonna be the Olympia. Olympia? Yeah. I've played there. Yeah, uh, yeah, no. Great place. Yeah. People's play there. I know. You're a big fan as well? 
It's a bit of sad. Yeah. Do you, do you appreciate them too? Oh yeah, they are my. They are the source, the beginning. Yeah. They draw me in actually into the music, Mus uh, okay. music world. songs for the other people yeah cool yeah. first I do a single and uh, when I heard my voice I was like I don't want to sing never anymore and I was serious and uh, then uh, it was really frustrating because I wanted to do songs and and some people agreed to, to sing my song and then I, I was uh, making the demos with my voice and the guy from Virgin said, I love the way you... So everybody keeps writing on you, they say, uh, in this feuilleton, German feuilleton, uh, you're so melancholy. Mm -hmm. And but on stage, uh, you're, you're laughing a lot, smiling. And yeah. Right. So it's turned into the, op yeah. Turns into yeah. the opposite. But I'm not that melancholy guy, I love... For me, the music, and I know it's the same for you, it's something serious. I, I, can't, sure. I can't do something really for fun or for making people laugh. And it's, uh, I would, no, I wouldn't like to do it. Um, though I admire what you've done because for you, it's more than serious, it's like concept. Allô mmh. Ah, euh, vous voulez que j'explique euh, la voiture Oui. Ouais. Voilà, il faut commencer ici. Si vous me mettez devant... C'est notre tout Marcel Proust. Donc, voilà, vous avez tout dit. Et donc on commence là, et puis on contourne. Et allez-y, hein. Je pense que... Je pense que c'est un peu de Oui, oui, clair. Ah, so, pourquoi est-ce que c'est le Marcel Proust Racing Team Oui. Le Rennauto. Et euh, statt des ganzen Logos, steht äh, die Recherche du Temps perdu drauf, jedenfalls die ersten zwei Sätze. Wenn man davon anfängt, dann heißt das Lantan, je me suis couché de bonheur. Parfois, à peine ma bougie éteinte. What is this all about? It's uh, à la recherche du temps perdu, which is uh, it's the very beginning of the à la recherche du temps perdu by Marcel Proust. Yeah. And uh, this is the first uh, lyrics of the uh, first... Uh, ah, and so what? And um, this, this serve must be a very uh, huge, you're a huge Marcel Proust fan or that was just for... No, it's just athlete. because uh, Marcel Proust needed some... Uh, Modernity. Some more power. Yeah, it's a good idea. And you're doing a exhibition in Paris? Oui, this is an exhibition. Okay. It's, it's, it's an exposition as well. But I thought there was other... We, it's, it's like a sculpture on... Uh, okay. Uh, sur des roues. Mm. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. Have okay. a nice Let's evening. Move, yeah. Thank Ciao. you. Bye. 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 What a surprise. What a surprise. <laughs> Marcel Proust. You don't give a fuck about Marcel Proust, no, don't you? Huh? You don't give a fuck about Marcel Proust. No, no, no. I, I just can't say anything about it. Me too. I was like, uh, because said Marcel Proust needs some power. I don't agree with that, so that was, uh, you know. Okay. Maybe he's running a racing team. Yeah. <laughs> And, uh, yeah, I didn't like to play like in the operas and spend my entire life to count bars. You know, to, no. to, when you're just a little bit creative, it's hard to be in an orchestra. Yeah. And, you know, Very restrictive. And the conductor, they thought you're a machine. You know. 
that it, it makes musicians into robots. Yeah, but they never say it. If they say now you're a robot, I would accept that. But uh, this is I never say that. Mm -hmm. How do you like Mozart? Oh, yeah. For me, it's like the biggest mystery in the history of the Mozart. Oh, yeah. In the beginning, I remember when I when I started studying music, I was laughing at him because I was into Stravinsky and you know this yeah, yeah, so this modern stuff, Webern, t t twelve tone music, and so it was so exciting for me because I liked so much to to play it. Mm. It was like theater. Ding ding ding. So it was fun. I was laughing about Mozart, but now. I'm getting closer and closer. It's so simple and so um, well done. And n nothing is obvious. Yeah, it's, it's, it all has to be that way, exactly this particular way. And it's as perfect as light or water. You know, it's, it's really it's like pure. It's like, you know, so pure. And also, he, he makes C major sound so wonderful. Yeah, and it's not, it's not scales, it's music. Yeah. You know, when you're Vivaldi and stuff like in C major, you want to kill yeah. yourself, you know. Yeah. It's, and then when it's Mozart, it's like, wow. I was this, exactly the same than you when I was young. I was like, I prefer Travinsky or yeah. Lano, even Bruckner or anything. And once I, I went to the concert, and it was the clarinet concerto in A minor, you know. Stravinsky? No, Mozart. Mozart. And, and I was a kid. I cried. Yeah. Do you often go in church? I don't go. No. Like no, I, didn't, I didn't mean for praying, but uh, uh, I mean for... Uh, Not really. You like them from the outside? I like them in general, but I don't go often there. Oh. Hello? Hello. Nous sommes actuellement en travaux un petit peu. Ah, donc, chouette. Euh, oh, ça bien. va être un petit peu difficile. Thank you, thank you. Oh, bon. Ouais. Je vous laisse visiter. Because I get many bad souvenirs of church when you're in when you're young. conservatoire. You know, you're often playing in church. Oh, you're yeah, I did. Cold church, and it's like uh, you're in the priest private area changing like you put in your suit and it's like a pattern like I hate the smell and like it's always cold and it sounds like shit you have to like you know when I was young we, we used to play uh, around Christmas yeah. always Mozart is Krönungsmesse yeah. Spatzenmesse so I kind of liked it um, it was freaking me out playing Mozart like Requiem in a, in a church. Yeah, yeah. Uh, really? Really freaking But there was a solo which was freaking me out very much. But I. So, and you didn't practice enough? You didn't practice enough? Yeah, I was really <laughs> lazy. <laughs> Look at this. Yeah. That must be a, a good job. I think so. You know, the community, if they sing along, they haven't got timing. Yeah. They're always late. Yeah, yeah but because of the place, <laughs> I, like, I like it. It's <laughs> but this is a very powerful instrument. It's like... It is? An organ, a cool organ. It's like a cavalier cool organ or something like that. Merci beaucoup. Comment? Shall we climb up now? Yeah. The, this organ we're gonna see. Yeah. It's a Cavalleco, which is a Cavalleco, very famous label. It's from the be very beginning of the 19th century. 
and uh -huh. he hasn't been updated since this time. That's what the guy said. It hasn't been updated. No. I think this is bizarre. <laughs> Voici l'instrument. Donc un grand atelier. Je vous laisse le découvrir. Tu sais comment ça fonctionne Ça doit être ça. Je n'ai jamais fait ça. Oui, moi aussi. Je peux faire ça. C'est trop compliqué. C'est vrai, ça ne marche pas. Je peux voir Dieu. Maybe we can hear him. Getting nervous before a gig, before sick. a concert. Sick? Yeah. Really sick? Really sick. I can it throw up. It feels in your stomach. Sometimes I throw up. It doesn't happen. So every time you know, but uh, uh, I'm really sick. I'm so it doesn't scared. matter how many people are watching you, or it, it, it increases. It, it, there's a lot. I'm not that sick. When it's uh, when I can watch the faces, I'm so afraid. I don't know why. If you, but if you don't see the front row, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, yeah. So you wear glasses then. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Check Fame by John Lennon and of course, David Bowie. Uh, yeah. All you need is in the limo. Yeah. So we have some water in yeah. there. Yeah. <laughs> Partners. Yeah. When I when I studied music in in Germany, they they called me up. They called yeah. my professor. They needed a classic, classically trained uh, drummer. 
for a tour in America. So it was just a job and a beginning. And you were familiar with the, the music or you don't know? I, I know it somehow. They were using, at that time, they were using those drum boxes. Okay. So I was studying drums. So I, it, was, <laughs> it was really strange mm -hmm. for me. Yeah, so I ended up uh, ten, ten weeks in America. American tour across the country. It's changed my life completely. It's new view, almost at the age of 22. Or uh, it was like in the... 70s, 75. 70, you stay in contact with your old buddies? Yeah, uh, business, business-wise. You know, if you leave, you're the bad guy. Yeah, I know. Always. Yeah. Do you drive in Paris? Car? I don't drive. No? I don't have my license. No? No license? Your wife? Yeah. She drives? Yeah. So is, is your wife very pushy? Pushy? In a way, what way? So she's driving, she, is, she knows where to go? Oh, no, no, no. No? Soft? But, but you're singing together, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. She's an actress, but like... Singing together, we're doing an album together. Yeah, the next one will be completely together. Yeah. yeah. Number 13. Tokyo. That exists since two years, something like this. And it's open till midnight, which is really rare for a kind of museum. Uh, or exhibition site. This records. So, yeah. Look like. at the records. Yeah. You know this record? I love it. Motor bass. Motor bass. Yeah. No? It was a great one. Have you still got a turntable then? A turn record player? No, I'm not. For what? No? no? It's, a, it's, a, it's a broken. It's broken? <laughs> okay. Do you have a... You should hear that, I'm gonna give it to you. Yeah? I have a look at the CDs. Ah, not funny. Oh, it's here. No. It's, it's better in a... This is better. This is better? Okay, okay. Because my turntable is broken. So I was <laughs> sure. <laughs> what is this record? Air. Air? Yeah, yeah. You like them? Yeah, I like them. They're sweet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, uh, and uh, they're brilliant. Yeah. Thierry, Hello. Thierry from Valtus Mitchell. It's with a friend, but she's also my uh, ANR at Virgin Records. Okay. Uh, Back up business. No, not really, not really. Friend and business. Yeah, friend, we try, uh, slash we try to do that. Yeah, yeah. Shall we sit down? Yeah, yeah. I think, yeah. I have to go to, to the bathroom. Try that you Where have you been? Everywhere. We've just recently crossed the Eiffel Tower. Yeah, yeah, Today okay. has to be a blind date. So, okay. yeah, yeah. It's very interesting because your music, I mean, are really, uh, are very, very much different. I mean, the, the way you, uh, I'm not I think the way sure. you compose, not that sure. Spoke, uh, a lot about that. Yeah, yeah. Because to me, Benjamin is the one we use, you know, all the instrument and uh, uh, not in an acoustic way of doing it, but, you know, uh, put instrument together. Uh, I don't want to say like yeah. real instrument because it doesn't mean anything, yes. but you know, like, the way you can write music for orchestra and arrangement. Yeah. Sometimes 
to me, it feels like a, a, a burden. So because I would love to to write music for the orchestra, or I would like to write guitar music. Mm -hmm. uh, so, but but people put the, that label on me. So somehow, I think it's it's rather not very clever to to change a subject so very often and to change your style unless you are Picasso right. so he could get away with it yeah. but when we, we talk a lot about music and the the label they put on, on you like uh, those people are musicians but it's also scientists and maybe more right. scientists it's, it's, it seems like bullshit and me. you only get a male audience yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your problem, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's also because of the mystery, kind of mystery uh, around the band. Yeah, yeah, around yeah. The band, yeah. you know, and uh, the very rare uh, appearance or uh, picture of you in the studio or stuff like this. So it creates more than a myth. You know, it's like uh, yeah. It could be worse. You could have. No label. <laughs> <laughs> Do you believe in politics? In a way. It's getting harder and harder for me to believe in politics. Yeah, but <laughs> politics not only that, but yeah. political science is uh, something else. You know, so okay. Sometime. But I do, in, I do believe in political science, but not those days. It's like yeah. everything, but it's fucked up. And it's, it's fucked up. It's a shame. Like Joshka Fischer. Yeah. Is a, I like the way it's crazy. The, the Federal Europe project was really before everybody when he uh, when he write this uh, you know paper everybody was screaming say Fisher like completely not so the yeah. guy uh, divorced every day uh, and everything and uh, but now it's, <laughs> it's becoming <laughs> he divorced he, again I've seen he's great I like him a lot yeah, me too. but Stoiber is freaking me yeah. out. Do you think he's going to be the next councillor? Nobody knows, but chances are very high. He lost the last election. Because of the water thing? Yeah. I want, always wanted to know one thing. Do you know the Kinder Toten Sorry, Gust what? Gustav Mahler's Kinder Toten No. No. I would like to know what he's talking about, you know. German and... Uh, and the Erkönig? The Erkönig? Yeah, Schubert. Uh, yeah. What's you the, don't know what it's what about? What story no. about? It's a, about somebody's writing, and it's about a, a sick child, and while he's writing, the child is dying. Oh, that's the story of it? Yeah. Oh. It's very sad. It's very beautiful. Yeah. So he's, he's away, and he wants to rescue the, the, the child. Sick. And he's dying, the child? Okay. Bam. <laughs> 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 making interviews because it's 
You don't like to talk about yourself? They love to ask me questions about my mother and no relationship. So you have to sell these interviews? <laughs> no, they don't want interviews. <laughs> they want a stolen picture. That's stolen yeah, picture? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Oh, yeah, I love them. That's heavy. So, and you don't care or you're... No, I don't do anything. Well, you don't care? I hate them. But normally you don't see them, you know, they're hiding. Like, yeah, that yeah, big yeah, tail yeah, of yeah. And if, when you see them, you want to, to go and punch them, but that's the biggest mistake to do. Yeah. So hard was background music. I hate Some, that. For, for me, it's terrible. Sometimes it kills me when I'm working, you know, and get an ID, went to a taxi, and then bam, the guy's music. listening. Oh. Can you turn down the music, please? Huh? So it's uh, pollution. It's really hard. I'm sure the, the, maybe the people from the cinema, they would hate, you know, come in a place and see... Uh, a scene played by very bad uh, actors. Or, you know. yeah. For that we're unlucky because there are more and more music everywhere. You're going to shop, music, you're going yeah. to eat music, you're going to peace, music. It's annoying. You know why? Also, while I'm listening, I start analyzing constantly. So, chord change and... And I've got this, you know, oreille absolue, I don't know. But, uh, yeah? Yeah, so... Perfect pitch? Yeah. You've got that? Yeah. I know it's a deep, for example. So it's a Perfect pitch, yeah, they so call it. Big problem with uh, classical music. When I, like, Vivaldi stuff, it's on this case, so you will... Do I mean the last or something? It's like a... So you... You're constantly translating it into numbers, so... Yeah, in a way, <laughs> yeah. I don't have the perfect pitch when it's human voices. Uh -huh. It's good. I don't have perfect pitch. I have relative pitch. You mean harmonic pitch? I need one chord in the beginning. Yeah. When to we make it relative. And then you, yeah. It's perfect. But I'm not using difficult harmonies in my stuff. Your parents were, were musicians? No. My father was an engineer. And he, but they were listening to music at home, or...? No, no? he was against it. He was? Against it? He was against it, so... Really? I left home and lived on my own and started my studies. But when you say against, you mean really against? Against. Ah, yeah. Well, you know, this cliché, he said, um, you won't be able to make a living. Your father was a musician, right? He, he, he was playing, that wasn't his job, but he was playing very well and uh, loved the music, yeah. But he hates pop music. So he supported you? No, he was against me, against pop music, so he, he never supported right. me. Yeah. When I quit the trombone, he said, what? And he was really like... Uh, you still talk to him? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You're, you're friends now? No, not really friends. My father, we had a little break, you know, during this. Uh, yeah. And when, when you became a, a pop star, what, what do they think, your parents? They started to be being proud of me. It's good. Yeah. yeah. You, you know, one day, one day, you suddenly discover that your parents are ordinary people. <laughs> I think this 
making music is sometimes so strong that it, it takes it takes over all your life and sometimes it happens to me and to me it's very dangerous so because there's a certain tendency of losing balance because it's so serious uh, oh, yeah. sometimes I'm I'm changing into an asshole yeah, <laughs> <laughs> because I think it then it's it's so super important to me that I'm I, I, I'm forgetting the rest. Me too. But I had to learn that it's not the most uh, important thing in the world, making music, my music, and from my point of view right now is uh, if worse comes to worse, I should take a look at myself and be rather careful and in a way I add the part of me which is a music freak you know yeah and but I never want to lose it you know it's I never want to this part to disappear you know it's uh, I, I think we quite the same on this I, yeah. I be, became become completely obsessive and no, nothing else exists yeah. and, uh, so and I'm like, sometimes it it seems to change to a, to a darker side so yeah, yeah this yeah. obsession making music and it's so super important, but I don't want it anymore. So because it's like Jekyll and Hyde. So yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. Sometimes if you try too hard, you're not successful at all. No, I never try to be successful. What do you think about success? It's so strange. The only success I, I, I had was as a songwriter. Yeah. As a singer, I'm quite successful, so I'm selling a lot of copies. It's not nothing compared to you, but uh, like 80,000 copies, which is for me amazing, you know. Uh, Very amazing. But So that means you are quite successful? Yeah, but I've done like songs which sell like uh, two millions of things like this. Really? Yeah. yeah. Do you read the, the reviews, the, the books about your, your work? And, uh, My work? Yeah. They are mostly positive. Yeah, they're absolutely that time. amazingly positive. So what does it feel? But, you know, the problem with reviews is if you try to, if you believe the good ones, you should believe the bad ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So they don't help you. In the end, they don't help you at all. Yes, but you don't have bad ones. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah? Sure. But if you read them, it's too late anyway. But I don't believe in newspaper, I believe in book in a way, you know, in books. And, yeah, yeah, and bullshit in a book, which never happened to me, it must be really hurtful. There will be books about you. Maybe, I don't know. Of course, mm. pretty soon. I don't know. And on the first page, they will mention the name of your mother-in-law. First page, and on the back, on the sleeve. So you'll be prepared. Yeah, I'm prepared. <laughs> <laughs> I think we should go. Yeah. Time to leave. Seeing a girl from from Playboy magazine? No, she's not. She's a photographer. You know, she's not a model. A guy? No, she's a girl. A girl? Yeah. And she, I know. I know. No, she's not from Playboy. She's an American girl who lives in Berlin. Mm -hmm. And she's do, going to do some photo shoots for the, the next Playboy edition. But she, she's a 
Art photograph. Aha. Okay. Okay. A ticket. Yeah. Oops, we missed enough. It's thanks. Robot train. No, but it's not the line. We're not on the. We're, we're not on the. So, huh? The. It's a mistake. It's not the good line, I think. It's like a blind date. It's like a blind date? Yeah. Are you in love yet or not yet? No. We're testing. Yeah, yeah. We're testing. You can go slowly. <laughs> Wie fühle ich mich die ganze Zeit beobachtet heute? Ja, ist komisch, oder? <lacht> oh Mann. Ist gut. Um, can you change places? Can you come over here?
Somebody must have heard you. From the press. Heard me? Yeah. Yeah, many times. Yeah. Many times? Yeah. Really? Yeah. They write about you a lot in Germany, actually. There's a lot of... Yeah, but in France, I don't put that in any... You know, I don't control anything, like in the... Feminine magazine stuff. <laughs> feminine magazine? Yeah, every, every day is like... A, they're shooting my watch and so they take a, you know, the watch from the store, you know, and uh, Benjamin Biolet has an Omega watch from yeah. Switzerland uh, and it's so bizarre. And know. it hurts you? No, it doesn't. This is not what hurts me. Sometimes I've been hurt by questions, but it's annoying me, you know. It's not about the music and everything. Mm. So what kind of... <laughs> So it's <laughs> Let me have a look at your watch. <laughs> what about your watch? <laughs> look at my watch. I show you my watch. I can't even read but it. I'm really into watch, it. so I would like to. No, no, the production concept, the, the moment you add, wow, blouse like. You end up being like a scientist, t twisting little, little, like little knobs, little millimeters of dBs. That's the moment I'm going crazy. And the, the worst moment is the track list for me. Yeah. You have this problem too? The, the track, track list? Listing? Track listing. Yeah. I became... No, I like it. I kind of like it. Yeah, I like the it. The running but... order. You mean the running order? Yeah, yeah. Order. Be... I like it, but uh, six months after, I can find like uh, this... Like uh, 1,000 papers with different... After yeah. Everything. You know how I do it? I do it with, with different little pieces of paper yeah. so that I can change them constantly and, and I nail them somewhere on the wall yes, so but did you listen to the, the complete of course yeah. you, you have to be aware of, of the changes and the harmonies Slow. yeah and yeah yeah so what's the fun I of do, it do you take care of the harmonies too I sure care. of course like the relative scales and everything yeah, yeah. yeah. d uh, c a minor sure I thought it was, I was a freak, but... No, 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 you're not, you certainly are, you have to. <laughs> it's good to hear that. And the beat, of course. Yeah, yeah. And the thema, you know, yeah. of the words and yeah, yeah. And you have this first, last title, which are... Most English. important. <laughs> and which, which but can... another rule of thumb is... You put the best songs in, always in the beginning. Yeah, <laughs> sure. And the last song should be... Oh, masterpiece. Ah, oh, yeah. So... And... Do you have some favorite numbers? No. Maybe for the... No. No. Do you? Yeah. Yeah, favorite really? Numbers. I always put my... hit single in the number three or something. <laughs> really? Yeah. How come number three? Because on lot of records I used to love when I was a kid, the big smashing it was they number, seven. number three. Yeah. Or number seven. Number seven. Yeah. Okay. okay. <laughs> well. So what about you? If, if you would do an exhibition, would you take care? Of course you would, but how would you uh, put the pictures on the wall? Um, it's a nightmare. It's a nightmare? It's an absolute nightmare. You know what Andy Warhol did? Well, he did a lot of things. He, he usually didn't care, so he, he let somebody else do the, wo I, the work. I might do <laughs> I Editing is very important. Would you do it for a running order? Huh? Would you do it for a running order? Would somebody else do it? No. That would be hard. Uh, no I, way. I couldn't, I couldn't actually do it. No way. And you hate to be on compilation too? It has a good commercial reason. Yeah. <laughs> Do you hate it too? Yeah. Why? 
Why do you hate it? I don't know. <laughs> I feel always like the, the cripple of the... The cripple, like the... <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah, really, really, really. Why? Just Sometimes for one dB. You know, if the guy has a really bam, loud uh, sound and I'm like one or two dB <laughs> down, I feel like I'm... <laughs> <laughs> I'm a freak. <laughs> so then, then pump up the volume then. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but the next after, the, the number after, it's like bam, bam. Back again. Well, on your records, the voice is loud anyway. Yeah. Yeah. And if, if this is too loud, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be very hard, the voice, because I'm not singing that. Uh, Loud and it's really close mics, really close mic. People don't care. Yeah, I know. <laughs> <laughs> the worst thing is that I know. <laughs> I don't like. It. People don't care yeah, about know. productions and. Don't give a shit. No. But why are we doing this? Why? Yeah. Are we doing this? Yeah, we know people don't care. Because we are nerds. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Who came up with the idea of, of your remix record? Surely the guy you met on the really? interview, yeah. Is it doing well? Yeah. But I'm, uh, I don't you don't like, like it so much? If don't, they send my voice to people who make them own playback. Some, some of those take some parts, you know, string parts or bass parts. Or <coughs> so it's like a, a rape, you know, in a way, because you a rape. Yeah. Because of the EQ, because of many things, because of... Yeah, but have you done any remix? Yeah, I like to... You yeah. did? Yeah, yeah. For somebody else? Yeah. And I really like it. So was it a rape? Yeah. You raped somebody else? I was really like a bad boy, like... A, I'm gonna fuck up your playback, you know? <laughs> <laughs> you see what I mean? <laughs> yeah. It's your record company. What? It's, it's your record company. What do they want? They are going to remix. <laughs> 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 We've got news for you, Benjamin. With the death, George Martin, you know. Yeah, George Martin is going to remix all <laughs> now the records. Now he agreed to remix the record. <laughs> As the Spectres, <laughs> writing from, the from scores. The jail. <laughs> from the jail, he's doing it in his jail From the jail, Yeah, just for you. He's writing the scores. <laughs> yeah, good. Like, like on, uh, what was that track? Long and Winding Road. Yeah. Oh, good news. Mm -hmm. I'm going to surprise myself for that. OK. So now. We're scoring now. Okay. Something. Okay. Okay? Never see someone make the GF like this. No? No. I go I go for the bass, right? You go for the bass. I do the bass. Okay. What's your favorite meter? We do four. Four by the four bar. Four by the bar. A minor. A minor? No problem. No problem? No problem, like A minor. <laughs> or shall we write for trombone? No, no, no. <laughs> Don't do that. <laughs> okay. Piano? You mean chords? Huh? Piano, for piano. For piano. Yeah? Well, Pull the piano. Not really good at this, but let's try. Pull the piano. Okay. And now you, you go back and you have to perform it. We, re, we rehearse it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I make it short. Okay? Three bars. It ends in, in F. So you, you put in the chords. 
and then we add a melody. Who's, who's doing the melody? Later on. Put, okay. it, put in some chords. Will you have it afterwards? We know, I don't know. He's got the perfect pitch, I don't. Yeah, but for the non-musical, you can't leave. We put it in the internet on our home pages and everybody can <laughs> load it down. I put it in the computer. <clears throat> so you start with a F sharp. Yeah? Cool. Yeah? <laughs> a minor, it's cool, no? Okay. Let's do a remix of it. <laughs> <laughs> Remix. We have to go? We have to pay. Yeah, we have to pay first. We have to do <laughs> it. No, I'm going to go down. How many do you have to pay? How many do you have to pay? You have to be amused, right? I have been totally good amused. Nice. Das ist unheimlich interessant, einen, einen wirklichen Musiker zu sprechen. Ja, das kann ich mir gut vorstellen. Z, Z, Z. Monsieur. Merci. Let's go.